Okay, hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with one more extra Animal Crossing video. Um, I just wanted to show the before and after of my island design update. So right now, I'm actually not on my account. I'm visiting my dream island because I forgot to record my island before I started moving everything around. So, when we leave from the airport, we have the entrance. I had piled leaves here because I thought it would be fun to run through them. My little markers from the marketplace from Pocket Camp. So this left side I originally had as my um, shop plaza, so uh, Abel's clothing store, Nook's here. Oh, there's me! DIY table and my museum, a little fountain, extra DIYs. And I displayed all of my umbrellas because I was like, they're so pretty. It's such a waste to not show them. Got a surfboard. Let's see if I can... I had random trees everywhere. Hi, me. Awesome sauce. Nice. Okay, so that's mostly my plaza area. And then I made a maze. And wow, why are your tea olives still up? It's November. Tea olive. Oh, because when I uploaded my dream, it was tea olive season. I guess. So yeah, I made a maze. And then you could come to these crescent chairs and sit. Yeah. It was such a cool idea to have a maze, but then I never really utilized the space because if I was trying to shoot down balloons or just run across somewhere, it was so tedious. But for first-time visitors, they liked doing it. And then I had two bridges going across. And this random spy never could figure out what to do with it. But yeah, if you cross this bridge, you come to the campsite. So I had my campsite here, a few camping cookware things, and a bunch of random fruit trees. Whoa! My other alt accounts. Whoa, an atlas moth, but I can't catch it. Yeah, so I was like, this would be a nice place for people to pretend they're camping and whatnot. And then if you came across this way... I made a little train station. This, this was actually one of my most favorite parts of my old island. And I had the throwback containers to be like, haha, it's a train station, and you would wait here. But yeah. Um, and then I had an amusement park area. So like, uh, whoops. My stalls with drinks, pizza, and fans to cool down. Oh, and I love this. I'm so happy I was able to get every single colored uh, springy ride on horse. Thanks to the help of a lot of people. Here I made a little sitting area. And then here was actually a statue garden. I wanted to take fake statues and place them here, but the only fake one I ever got was the Valiant statue. All the others I got real ones, so I could have put it here. But I thought this would be a nice statue garden. So if you run down this way, it's like a mini bamboo grove. Because I love the Arashiyama bamboo grove in Kyoto. So I was like, oh, I need a huge long bamboo hallway. But yeah, if you come down this way, it's the resident services. But I also had a place where animals can sing. And like another pseudo plaza area where you can sit. And then this house. Um, it was one of my alt accounts. I fashioned it to be an arcade, so I wanted to make it look like round one. So yeah, you got a bunch of arcade stuff. This left room was supposed to be uh, a prize room. So you could either get headbands or all these bears. I've I think I've updated it since then. I think I added more furniture to all my alt houses. And to the right is... 
showing all these houses now so I don't have to show it later. Uh, my ping pong and foosball room. I did not make any of the patterns on the floor either, I just found them on the internet. Break tapper. Pinball. Break tapper also from the pocket camp mobile game. This is supposed to be the darts and billiards. I kind of wanted to make it look like um, the the darts and billiards place from Persona 5. I wish we had bigger rooms. And downstairs, it is a diner. Yeah. So you can eat downstairs. And I have a bunch of TVs everywhere. Because you gotta eat when you go to an arcade. And then upstairs, I think, should be my karaoke room. And yes, wow, it was really empty and sparse back then. But you get the general idea. Yeah, so that's my arcade house. I don't have to show one of the houses on here because it's just for me, it's not for everyone to see and visit. But anyways, yeah, I had this big open space because I was like waiting for um, pumpkins and other vegetables to arrive. Oh yeah, my weed field because weeds in the fall look so pretty. But like that, it's a pretty picture. I had all of my rocks along uh, rivers because I was like, oh, it would be nice rocks along the water. It would be pretty. Uh, but yeah, I changed everything. And then in the middle section, I got these bridges and I have my two favorite animals ever. Fang on this side and Marina on this side. Yeah, she also has a red bridge heading to other residential area, but I'll show that later. Because right now we're going up the middle. Yes, and again, more bamboo motif. Because I love it. It's my house! So yeah, I have a thing about blue and orange flowers because they're my favorite colors. So I wanted all of my flowers to be just blue and orange, except for white around Fang's house and pink around Marina's house. And I love waterfalls, so I was like, oh, let's let's be surrounded by waterfalls. Um, should I show my house? No, I've updated my house since so I'll show it when I show my new uh, island. Yeah, here is my Ryokan area. So like. Yeah, this was the outdoor bath section. Also surrounded by bamboo trees. I can show the Yokan because I didn't update too much to it since my dream updated. Alright, uploaded. Oh no, wait, I lied. I added a screen. But yeah, this is basically the reception area. And then the three different rooms are like themed rooms. So this one's mostly red furniture. This one's natural and green and blue furniture. And this one's black furniture. So to give you an example, I will go into the red room. The plum room! Yeah, see? So every room has a kotatsu, floor seats, um, an imperial shelf on the wall, bamboo bench, imperial cabinet, uh, zen flooring, yeah, zen cushions, a futon, and a tatami bed. This is actually the wrong color tatami bed, but yeah. All the rooms are like that, so the one on the right side is black theme. The one in the middle is natural. And downstairs, I think I made the dining area. Yeah. And two different plate sets, one with moss and one with blue. Yeah, so I tried to make a girl side and a boy side, as shown by the different outfits and the wall hanging wall scrolls. So yeah, you could either sit in the back or you could Take a shower. Rinse yourself off before you get into the bath. That's my Ryokan. And now I show rest of island. So yeah, outdoor bath area where you can have a little seat outside. And then this house is supposed to be Downton Abbey. Uh, it's a British uh, TV show. If you don't know it, you won't appreciate it. But also, there's like no furniture inside because I'm waiting for new furniture sets to come out to actually like match the interior of a fancy English house. 
But yeah, this is the secret beach area. I like mm -hmm. to have creepy, mossy gravestones and lanterns. And, but yeah, like I have all this open space that I was not utilizing well. So like I liked my island, but not that much. This is like a little outdoor pool area. And up here is where all of my bunnies lived. So Genji lives right there. Snake lives right there. And they're both jocks, so I had all this gym equipment. And then... Oh man, this is when I used to have Cole. But yeah, Cole lived here. And Dottie lives here. My reasoning was that um, I love bunnies. And I don't know if they have it in English, but in Korean, like we say that a rabbit lives on the moon. So I was like, oh, let's make the rabbits closest to the moon. That's cute. Yeah. That's why all of my bunnies are living together. If you come down this way. If you come this way, you have my froggies. So Jeremiah here and Lily here. And I made this lily pad path to be like, haha, you're walking on top of water to get to their houses. And then if you come down this way, this side is Zell. And this side is um, a changer, because I don't know exactly who I want to be my 10th and final villager. So this one I'll just switch out to like whoever I feel like it. So right now it's Whitney. Yeah, so... I gave them yard sizes, but like pretty decent yard sizes, but I didn't know what to decorate it with. So that's why they're blank. But yeah, more uh, trees here. Oh yeah, this was like a little sitting uh, path that you could take a nice picture. I thought that was cute. And over here was a little pond. Yeah, that's this is the alt character that has the arcade house. But yeah, here's a little sitting area. Lake and my beach that had sandcastle, places to lounge and sit. Yeah, I had DIY crafting stations everywhere. Oh yeah, and randomly I tossed all of my other flowers that weren't blue and orange to this side. Because I was like, I should keep them for crafting purposes. And who knows when I'll need them. Yeah, and over here was all my pirate stuff. Cause I was like, oh, a secret code. So yeah, I mean, like, I feel like my area, my island area, was not utilized well. There was so much wasted space. Like, this is literally just a row of pine trees. What the heck? And like, this pool area, like, it's kind of hindered by these trees. I have this whole space for a bunch of nothing. Like, nothing. Here. I mean, the amusement park was used well, the campsite was not really used well because I just shoved a whole bunch of fruit trees there. The maze was taking up a lot of space and I wasn't using it a lot. And like, this whole area, I wasn't doing anything with it. So I decided to overhaul my entire island and it took me a very long time. But you can see what it looks like now! Okay, sorry, that was short. Corny, wow. Um, but yeah, now I'm on my Switch, my account, and I can show you my newly revamped islands. So yeah, I still have the leaves, but yeah, I changed it so that once you enter, it's just boom, bamboo grow. So let's start from the left like we did before. I moved my shop and my clothing store closer. And um, I placed my monster statue there, and on the left side, I want to make a giant robot, but I still need to get all the materials. So that's why monsters all alone. And I moved my rocks all here so that they're all in one space, surrounded by bushes. So like right now it's holly season, and then it will be camellias, and then it will go back around azalea, hydrangea, blah 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 blah. I moved all of my palm trees so that they're not just all spaced out and ugly. They're like actually grouped up. Because I caught most of the bugs now, so I don't have to worry about having too many trees. But yeah, um, oh yeah, I have extra jack clothes because a Halloween just happened. But I revamped my uh, amusement park. So here I have my 
Floralite Rainbow. So happy that I got every single color. So on the left side, we got the amusement park. So I moved like refreshments and stalls back here, added some climbing walls. Still have my beautiful, amazing merry-go-round. But on the right side, I added a little water park. So this is supposed to be like the kiddie pool area. You just lounge here. A little waterfall action to relax you with the sound of rushing water. Pool area, lounge, and a shower to wash you off. Yeah. So if you come up this way, here I moved my Downton Abbey house. And I moved all of my pumpkins and like five of each fruit tree to this area because Downton Abbey, if you watch the show, um, they're in charge of farmlands. They're landlord, technically. That's why I moved all of my produce there. I moved my arcade here because I wanted the arcade to be near amusement park. But yeah, I still kept the campsite. Oh yeah, I got rid of the bridges. That's a big thing. Yeah, I revamped my campsite. I added a beach volleyball area because I'm so obsessed with Haikyuu right now. So that's why I have Daichi's jersey. I still gotta make Tsukishima and some other players. Yeah, I spaced things out so that they'd be more open and freeing. Uh, yeah, also moved my trees, moved lounging stuff to this area. Because, yeah, the top left corner is just purely recreational. So if you come up this way, this area is now my museum area. You got museum, you got trees lining. I used a spooky fence because I'm like, yes, finally a new design of fence and like the sleek iron look I thought matched the museum area. So here you can sit, chat, I got all the different colored street organs, uh, I've got some skeletons and an anatomical model having a creepy date back there. This spot is left open because I'm waiting for blathers, not blathers, um, What's his name? The cafe. I'm waiting for his cafe to come. That's why that's blank. And that's why I have tables and chairs here to be like, haha, you got your coffee and now you can sit and relax. So if you come down this way, I didn't make an outright path, but I moved my pond here. Oops, sneak peek at another area. And my train is all up here. I have every single color throwback container too. Pride and joy. Yeah, here is where I moved my statues. I got a fake, uh, this statue, so she joined the collection. Nice outdoor seating area, and I moved my, uh, moon chairs here, so you can do stargazing here in a wider open area. Mm -hmm. So if we head back down again... And again, blue and orange flowers everywhere! We head down here... Here's where I moved all of my different colored flowers. Um, this spot's empty because I'm trying to breed another purple windflower, but yeah. Rainbow flowers! I don't have pansies though because I don't like pansies. I think they're ugly. I don't really have too many tulips either. And this area I want to reserve for seasonal decorations, so since Halloween just passed, this is all Halloween themed. But yeah, now that it's fall, once the uh, once I get all the mushroom recipes and the maple leaf recipes, this will all be changed. I'll leave some pumpkin stuff because pumpkins are still, you know, fall themed. And then this area down here, I brought some pansies because I needed them in a recipe. This area down here, I have more pumpkin stuff. But I don't know really what I want to do with this area. Maybe I want to build another house, like make another alt character and design another house. But this space is pretty much open. I grow my money trees here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Palm trees are all... Whoa, I didn't show this area. Whoops! So in front of my resident services, I still have like a pseudo plaza area. Well, this is more like a park sitting area. You got benches and sitting areas on the left and right. Cleaned up my palm tree so that they're more bunched together. Okay, now this is different. Uh, I will show the resident services. I'm uh, not resident services. 
resonant area next. But this is what I'm really, really proud of. I moved my Ryokan, and boom! Oh wait, I should pop that balloon. But yeah, three red bridges, I love it. It's a beautiful, perfect um, photo op area. Anyways, here's a photo op area with like lion dogs and a pagoda in the back. Got a fortune card cookie from uh, Pocket Camp. And yes, my bamboo, gro bamboo grove lives. I bought all these tanzaku when it was the special item in Nook Shopping. And yeah. Uh, whoops. Yeah, this is all stuff I need my Ryokan character to store. I don't need to show my Ryokan again, but I updated the outdoor bath area. So yeah, you get double waterfalls. The Ryokan is its own separate world. Oh, sorry about that Windows Defender noise. But you got bath on the left and right. And boom, more easy access to the secret beach with red. Yeah, I love that I have old lanterns and, you know, suck the trees wherever. And I don't think you could see it, but on the top ledges where the waterfall is... Uh, can you see here? No. Well, can you see here? You kind of can. I placed all of my Lily of the Valleys on the top. Uh, yeah. So if you come here, this is where all the residents live now. So. Lily and Jeremiah still living their lily pad lake life, except I made it a lot bigger. So uh, this side I'm going to decorate with more blue furniture for Jeremiah, and Lily I'm going to like just cover with plants and book stuff, because I feel like she'd like that. And I changed how my residents are lined up. Um, this is Zell. He's like a cool guy, so he's got this cool awesome outdoor bath and a dark board. This is Dottie. She wants to be a pop star, so a TV camera and keyboard. Genji is still a workout dude, but also, you know, pretty traditional, so he gets some um, gym equipment. Uh, Snake, also, same deal with Genji, except he gets different traditional stuff and different workout gear. I don't have Cole because Julian randomly showed up at my campsite, so I have him for now. Um, so I really don't know what to decorate with him yet, so yeah, he just has a moon and a couch to view the moon. And Whitney is here. Yeah, I'm still keeping her around because I still need to learn more sisterly, um, recipes. Yeah, sitting area, bench, a bunch of DIYs that are messy, so I won't show it. Yeah, right side of the beach is pretty plain. Uh, let's go up here because I moved Fang and Marina. They get way bigger yards. So Fang is full of like white and white furniture with brown antique ones because he seems to like that motif. And Marina will also get like cute and pink stuff and I want to give her more like underwater themed stuff too. So yeah, uh, right now the up ledge, it's just full of bushes, but yeah, you can see Lily of the Valley back there. When I get 5 star rating again, it'll be littered. Whoops. This is my area! So yeah, I have my doggies here. I don't know how I want to decorate the rest of my yard yet, but for now it's housing all my black, gold, and blue roses. More bamboo. And I have trees here, like... I have plain trees because I know it'll be um, Sakura season again in the spring. And I have pine trees here because I'm waiting for winter with Christmas lights. So now I think I could give my house tour. Because I don't think I've ever showed my house before. Now you get to see it. This is the main room. The highlight of this room is all the beautiful kimonos I have. And then I just randomly stuck stuff on the wall like those macrame whatever um i didn't realize that wreaths and door plates could be hung on your wall so i hung them on the wall and then on that side it's all my um awards but yeah nice comfortable homey room on my right side you have a manga room so you got a nice little tv just to chill and watch so many bookcases, a desk, more stacked stuff, because like magazines if you want to read like Weekly Shonen Jump or something. And of course, two fridges and a microwave. 
if you're lazy and just want to pull stuff out really fast. And then to my left, my bathroom! And I turned off the lights to give it some atmosphere. Yeah, you got a shower in the bath. And I love that I have all the different fishing flags on the wall. I got all four designs! <laughs> Yeah, nice calming bathroom. I was thinking about putting some music in here, but I was like, no, I just like hearing the sound of the water from the bathtub. And back here, we have my instrument room. So yes, I'm, I've been collecting all the instruments and I have, I think I have every single color instrument. And on the walls, I got some pretty dried flowers. I only wish the organ could be black too. I think it could only be brown or white. I left them white. And downstairs. I really didn't know what to do with my basement. So for now, it's just housing all of my stellar um, furniture, constellation furniture. And yes, again, more pianos, cause why not? I love pianos. I, my dream is to have a baby grand piano in a house someday. Who knows when that'll happen. And upstairs is my room! So yeah, my collection of all of my villager photos. I'm still trying to get everyone. Got a futon out and a tatami bed out. One for me, one for a guest. A synthesizer up here. I love these kinds of chairs. I really, I want one in real life. But yeah. Um, yeah, this is my favorite wall, the uh, Misty Garden wall, and my favorite floor. Water! I got some goldfish here. The only reason why I'm keeping them, even though I don't like raising fish in real life, is because the bowls are really pretty. Yeah, and then I also like how the beta looks, and I like how the foil looks. This wall of, full of autograph stuff. I just thought they were cute designs. You got my switch hooked to the TV, and you got a laptop and a full desktop setup for streaming and gaming and just browsing internet in general. Yeah, I love my room. I love my house. They're always like, why don't you change up designs? It's like, because I love how it is, it's perfect. Unless you give me a way to like save this layout and just bust it out whenever I want, I will never change this design. Yeah, that's my house. And I th I think I showed every part of my island. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is my new island. And I really love how I spaced everything out. Like, a lot of space is being used better. I'm going to be more mindful about uh, decorating my animals' yards. This is really my favorite part of the island. The three red bridges. And you can take a picture, and it's so beautiful and cool. And yeah, I planted all of these uh, regular trees because in springtime it'll just be full of sakura. Hopefully. Yeah. Bridge. Yeah, I think I did show everything. But yeah, I feel like my space is being used so much better. Nothing's being wasted. Every single area is being used. I just have to figure out my seating situation here because I got log bench here, log bench here, and I kind of want this to be open and not covered with flowers. I have extra purple hyacinths, I need to get rid of them. But yes, that's my island. I'm so happy with it. It took forever to get done and it took me so much money, but it was worth it and I'm so happy. I'm going to go back to the bridges because I think I love it. Um, I don't know if I'll update my island's layout again if they add more stores, like if they add a department store, the cafe, all the other buildings that were in previous Animal Crossings. I don't know, but for now I am pretty content with my design. Yay! I'm glad I got to record this video too so I have a record and memory of doing this. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, before I keep rambling, I'm gonna end this. Thank you all for watching, I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty, have a good night everyone. Bye-bye!